I mean, you were on two seasons of Celebrity two Apprentice tours with him, uh, and from what I understand, the turning point in your relationship with him is when you uh, discussed or you described his hair as being made of cotton candy made of piss. I said it looked like. I didn't, okay. I didn't yeah, ever didn't claim it was made of was. piss. Okay, yeah. It looked exactly like <laughs> cotton candy made of piss. I'm not sure that was the turning point. The yeah. turning point actually, um, in those wild yeah. times of no sleep and pretending to be part of something that's not really happening. I mean. Uh, we are co-workers on a television show. Uh, he's not seeing if he's going to hire me. He has no job. The places he could hire me, the casinos that he has that have showrooms, <laughs> he put into bankruptcy. Right. He no longer owns yeah. them. So he, he can't hire me. Plus, I have a job. Um, so that's all completely fake, right? But during the time, it's not Stockholm Syndrome. It's... Uh, it's uh, uh, it's Actors Playhouse. Yeah. You you get yourself. It's an improvisational, five week improvisational show, in which you've decided that he is the boss and you are the employee, mm -hmm. and you do that. So for, this is like the Stanford Prisoner experiment. A little bit, yeah. a little bit more like that than uh, than than like entertainment. So during that time, I know that Donald Trump's lying about a lot of what happens. But I also know that I'm also not correct because everything gets mm -hmm. jumbled together. But there was a time when they asked me, while I was still on the show, if Donald Trump ran for president, if I'd support him. And I said, absolutely not. And I believe, and this may be the most damning thing you'll hear me say about Trump, <laughs> I believe I liked him more than anyone else who was on the show. During that time, I said I would not support him for president. And I got a call instantly, instantly from uh, the powers that be, not Trump himself, saying, uh, no, 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 you, you must support him as president. And they said it's going to come down to you and Trace, mm -hmm. and he's going to want to know uh, that you both support him for president. And I said, well, well, I don't. And they said, well, you really have to, because he's trying to, he's looking at the big picture here. And I go, we're on a television show. Uh, so I was told when I said I wouldn't support him for president, that I would not win. Yeah. And if you watch the final show, and don't, why would you? Um, he says, you know, you're being judged on the quality of your ice cream, yeah. the quality of your final presentation, how much ice cream you sold. He gives a whole list of, of the criteria. And then he says, Pad, you did the best ice cream, you did the best, yeah, yeah. and he checks them all off that I won every category, and said, oh, by the way, Trace wins. Yeah. Now. The Walgreens people were very upset by this because they wanted to sell my ice cream and do a whole thing. And NBC was very upset by this. They were both so upset, as a matter of fact, that they gave money to my charity kind of under the mm -hmm. table. So I actually ended up making more for my charity than Trace did wow. because of kind of guilt money going in. They were very upset. I was not because the rules of this show are that he decides who wins. Would a Trump presidency, which uh, yeah, ultimately is unlikely, but is what, that one of the things that worries you about it? It's like we would be in an America where there are no clear rules, although he gets to decide them. Not going for a joke and just trying as hard as I can to tell the truth. I think he doesn't really have um, strong convictions and sense of right and wrong. He's not really, really smart. He's not stupid. You know, he's not a dumb guy, but he's not smart like presidents are smart. We make jokes. Uh, everybody makes yeah. jokes, except me, about George W. Bush not being smart. He's smart. Yeah. He just is. Uh, Obama's smarter? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Sure. Obama's smarter than Clinton? Probably. Mm -hmm. You know, almost right. certainly. But they're, they're up here. You know, and if we're talking about it, you know, you're wherever you are, right. but you're not smarter than Obama. Yeah. You know, none of us are. No. Uh, even the smart guys, you know, aren't there. And um, Trump uh, isn't one of those people. I think the first person that asked me was Lawrence O'Donnell, who asked me, "You were around Trump? What do you think it was?" It? And I said, "You know, I kind of liked him. I thought he was good in the show. I think he has a lot of skill sets for the show. And I think he's a good person. You know, it's you know, some level. I mean, it's not my favorite person to hang out with. But I do not want him to be president. I do not agree with him on anything. I believe he's wrong in everything. Almost precisely what I said to, said to Al Franken. 
And his reaction was to start tweeting out that my magic show was awful. Yes. Terrible magic show. <laughs> and it made me think, you know, and actually there's, there's video that is interesting. I think I, I'm not interested in it now, but I think I might be in a few years. Uh, I'm on Opie and uh, Jimmy's show on Sirius when the tweet from Donald Trump comes in. So I have two cameras on me and a mic in front of me at the moment I read a presidential candidate attacking me <laughs> there. And my reaction is just, uh, yeah, that's a reaction I can see happening. But we're supposed to be better than that. If you're going to be our spokesman, yeah. you've got to be better than you are personally. You've got to be better. And Trump, the very pettiness and the very honesty that I respect him for so much, if you're going to be president, we can't have that. You know, we're sure, we are absolutely positive that George Washington was a miserable prick. <laughs> but when he spoke, he spoke for all of us with a great conscience. And I'm not sure you want uh, a president who's taking shots at a carny performer. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that if I hadn't sat in a room with Trump for a long time, I might have a more accurate uh, assessment of this. I might be uh, confused by the fact that, not that guy, no, not, no, what do you want to tell, no, 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 no. And I also feel a little bit, you know, my friends talk to me and, I, and they start talking about Trump and I say, uh, well, however bad you think he is, he's worse. <laughs>